hi guys welcome back uh, so as promised in my last video uh, today we'll actually learn how we can make a VBA program uh, and uh, we actually have a question from Sumit uh, I have already actually up uploaded the last video wherein we discussed his uh, you know requirement and uh, let me just uh, uh, show you back what exactly uh, the question was so I received email from Sumit and he has uh, you know given me a this uh, workbook of which reverse dot xlsx that's the excel file and let me quickly tell you what exactly we are going to do here so we need to have these uh, numbers in the reverse order right so output should be uh, like this so this is what exactly Sumit has asked and he's, he, he has said that you know this is uh, this is a question which uh, many times he has faced in his career and uh, so I have already uploaded a video number 141 where I actually given you a solution uh, using indirect function so you can in other words we have used uh, the advanced excel formula called indirect but in that video I also said that it can also be done through the VBA code right so in this video we'll focus on the VBA uh, code we'll try to make a macro which can actually uh, do the reverse of this and can you know print the numbers here right so go and watch 141 video as well uh, let me quickly show you uh, he has written here you know this question is asked in an interview and I hadn't any answer so hopefully by this uh, by now he you know uh, would have watched this video and uh, I'm sure uh, next time if the same question comes or let it be uh, anyone uh, you guys also can actually go and watch that video and uh, can take the benefit out of this video because who knows um, you know uh, maybe uh, your interviewer can also ask you the same question uh, so guys uh, what this is my YouTube list uh, playlist uh, on my channel you can go there and watch all these videos on the indirect function I have uploaded the video uh, under this category called indirect or maybe you can go to my excel vba lover dot com website and you can go to the tutorial section excel training and under this video tutorial if you're looking for the online training through skype let me know about it i train people 101 and uh, there you can find all the content day on day and uh, it's a complete advanced excel course and similarly i provide the training on the vba as well and on ms access as well so if you go to the video tutorial section on the excel there you see that uh, under the indirect tab this one uh, solving interview question right if you click on this uh, you will be on the YouTube site and you can watch that video right so this is in continuation um, to this video but definitely this time we'll actually try to solve this puzzle uh, using the VBA code and I'm sure it will be very interesting right so what exactly now we are going to do is uh, we want these reverse order right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare a macro uh, wherein I will say that select this range I will give the option uh, to a user that you know select the range and that range will actually start automatically you know auto populating the uh, numbers or the text entries uh, from the reverse direction so if I select this table then my answer would be 12 33 45 GG RE if I select this range then my answer would be GG FF -E -E, right so I'm giving the option to the user this is what I think of right uh, in case if you want me to prepare uh, in some another different you know by using some different method please let me know about it write me an email and uh, I will uh, be there you know to uh, help you out and I will definitely go ahead and upload the video this is my email ID uh, you can get this uh, email ID uh, from my excelvblover.com website as well right but this is uh, my email ID ajay underscore qm underscore 81 at yahoo.com anyways now let's uh, come to the point go to the developer tab and uh, quickly go to the view code and uh, there uh, in this module I will write a program uh, so the first thing I'm going to write here is uh, my sub and I'll name this reverse calculation right so now we'll press enter now what we need to do is uh, first of all uh, I'll declare a variable called r as range okay and uh, okay uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to declare another variable and I'll name it as INP and uh, I'll declare this as let's say variant and uh, we'll make this uh, application dot
input box we will use the input box because we want to give this uh, uh, freedom to our user that he can select any range right so the prompt would say that select range uh, if you want to give any title that's fine you can give i'm not going to give any title so i'll just leave these options as it is uh, the only thing which i'm interested in is uh, i will go ahead and use the type and i'll use the type 8 so guys type 8 is actually for the range if you want to select the range you can give this type 8 uh, if you want more information just select this part and press f1 the moment you press f1 which I'm sure you know that it is actually Excel help. So similarly, it works for VBA help as well. Uh, it will uh, take you to this window wherein you can see this expression dot input box so prompt title default left top help file type. We have all the things over here, right? So these are the actually the values which refers to these. Uh, 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 you can say that these are basically the attribute uh, zero means a formula one means a number and I have used eight because I want that my input box should not uh, select anything apart from range so I have written the eight there so you can go through that it's a very good uh, very nice uh, you know uh, good amount of detail given by the Microsoft uh, in this uh, application dot input box uh, title so go and uh, go through I mean each and every detail you will understand what I'm saying so now once you have uh, uh, you know written this now let me show you what exactly we are doing let me just run this look at this select range input is this is uh, what exactly my variable is uh, so what I want to do is I want that if user select this range and the moment he press ok then somewhere here you know we should have all these numbers printed in this way let's say gg and then ff and then ee this is what exactly is my motive right so now what we need to do is we need to use this range somewhere right so what we are going to do is uh, since we are going to use this as an object so i need to use this set word right and this inp i need to use it as a range i'll tell you uh, why i'm doing this because we are going to use a collection loop for each uh, cell in you know a range this is exactly the collection loop so in this case uh, I will say that for each R in INP and uh, next and then start displaying the messages so if I write here the message box R dot value let's see what will happen right so this is a loop which uh, we can run uh, so this says that for each cell in uh, the range you know so if I give this range then it means for each cell for each a1 a2 a3 you know start displaying all the numbers one by one right so this is what exactly we have done now uh, let's uh, run this and see that if we are able to get through or not so I'm going to select this range let's say and uh, pardon me for this uh, let me just minimize this and uh, so I've selected this and uh, uh yeah press ok and there you go now you will start getting all these values one by one e e f f uh g g right so this is what exactly i'm going to do i'm going to display all these numbers one by one and after i display them i want to print them so obviously message box will not work here what we need to do is we need to find the last row so i'm declaring another variable on the top of this dim let's say last row as long and uh, I'll say that last row equals to what is my sheet's name my sheet name is sheet 2 so I can write here sheet 2 and uh, I can uh, get this a let's say 10 lakh to ensure that I should be on the last row so it will go to the top excel up dot row number so you'll get the row number once you get the row number this is what exactly you need to do so in this uh, cells row number this is what exactly I need to use last row and uh, I will use the column number 2 and the value should be printed here so what value I need to print is actually r dot value so this is how my values will start printing and then what I need to do is uh, I need to reduce this uh, you know the, this last row one by one so that it should go in the reverse direction so I'm going to use this last row minus one right 
uh, we are going to reduce the last row so that uh, once it starts with the 8 uh, then it go to uh, you know the next row should be 7 6 and so on right so let's uh, run this on the effort mode and you will understand what i'm saying so i'm selecting the range let's say from here till here a1 to a3 now press ok and uh, before that let's check that what is my last row so last row is 8 because my last filled value is on the 8th row so this will will get it from here now on the 8th row and the second column my value should be what so you can see here that i'm getting here ee right and it go to the next and then now my last row is reduced to 7 which means i'm now on this row and uh, having the same column 2 it means that i will be on the b7 so i'll get this ff right and if you again press next and this is how you get the value right and then enter up and finish right uh, let's just run this again let me just uh, delete this and this time uh, we'll uh, run this quickly uh, i'll give the complete range and now i'll press enter look at this wow that's very nice right it's working superb so i can again uh, show you this let me just run this again uh, this time we'll select only let's say this table and press enter and there you go gg re and then again gg and then 45 this is what we have selected so it works very nice now only thing you need to do is you can connect this using the button and you can tell your interviewer that look uh, you can even use this kind of a code and uh, you don't really have to even use the index function right so that depends on I mean to say uh, what exactly you want to use generally people say that if uh, something is manageable through excel then don't go for the vba right but i really don't believe it uh, i take it like you know more of a what exactly is uh, you know uh, motivating you right uh, if you think that by having a vba code you can really impress your audience maybe you can do that with the excel as well but then my mind you know my heart says that go for the vba code so i think it's all about uh, sometime you know uh, it's very uh, nice to think um, logically as well if something is working on the excel by using the simple formulas then really no need to you know prepare the vba code but otherwise you should have actually you should know that you know if something can be done in excel uh, through by using some formula then same thing can actually be achieved using the vba as well right so this is what exactly i have done and now i'm gonna press click on this button and i'm going to select this range press ok and there you go right so later you can cut this and you can paste it here so this is how uh, you can prepare this uh, wonderful code and uh, this will actually help you a lot now uh, in my another video which i will be uploading uh, after this video uh, i will be telling you about how you can create a function by your own name and can have the same results right so in the continuation of the same video 142 will upload 143 video and there we will know how to prepare the functions and that will also help you in knowing that what is the difference between function and a subroutine which is a definite question you know you will be asked in your interview what do you know about function what do you know about sub and how can you uh, you know set up the relationship between function and a sub and how can you actually what is a uh, difference between function and subroutine what is the major function or uh, difference between function and a subroutine so i will be discussing all those things in the next video i don't want to make it complicated but this is what you can actually use and i hope uh, this is really uh, this is going to help you a lot and uh, so guys uh, that's the end of my this video do subscribe to my channel in case if you haven't and uh, i'll come up with again some more exciting stuff till then stay fit and